New this morning, according to research done by the USDA, about 30 to 40 percent of the food supply here in the United States is wasted every year. And that comes out to about 130 billion pounds of food and 160 billion dollars wasted. Yeah, but now one local group is doing its part to reduce those numbers, all while filling empty stomachs. 7 and 4's Brett Cass joins us now live at Goodwill Industries in Grand Traverse County to tell us about their food rescue program. Good morning, Brett. Hey, good morning, guys. I'm here at Goodwill Industries. You just missed it. One of the car, uh, trucks that was back here has just pulled out. They're the food rescue mission. They're going out right now to about over 70 daily locations in order to collect their unused food and bring it to those in need. By 5.15 a.m., we'll start training up. Work inside the Goodwill Inn kitchen is already underway. And packing bags, which is the uh, milk and apples and and food programs manager Taylor Moore is lending a hand to prep meals on wheels. However, this is just a small part of his day. Because by 6.15 a.m., Moore is in the warehouse readying his crews for a special kind of rescue mission. We pick up uh, from over 160 uh, unique donors. Five days a week, the Goodwill Food Rescue Team of six drivers visits farms, grocery stores, warehouses and restaurants collecting unused food and distributing it the same day. And the idea is to get the food out as quickly as possible. We're picking up perishable food items, things that are going to go bad uh, relatively soon. After pickup, the team distributes to 48 food pantries throughout five counties, bringing food directly to people who need it most. We're increasing food access by delivering it out uh, to all these different pantries, not consolidating it. Despite the obvious human benefit, Moore says by keeping food waste out of landfills, there is also a large environmental impact. Right, food is energy, and if it just goes into the landfill, uh, it rots. It's releasing all this energy. And that's uh, obviously wasteful, but it also releases methane gas. By rescuing food and putting it in the hands of those who need it, Moore says food rescue programs benefit the entire community and they're vital to any community uh, and most communities are uh, establishing some sort of rescue program as they should. Now just last month they reached a huge milestone here at Food Rescue. You see this bumper sticker uh, they gave me here and see this big number here the eight that's eight million pounds of food they've rescued since they first started and that's eight million pounds that were destined for the landfill but instead made it into local food pantries. Reporting in Grand Traverse County, Brett Cast, 7 and 4 News. Wow, what a difference they're making, huh? It's a fantastic program. And, and to see how they're growing and, and bringing yeah. more people in. And, and just when you think about how much food is wasted, then it puts everything into perspective. Oh. There, there isn't a need for that. We, we don't yeah. have to waste All that. of that food that normally would go to a landfill or be yes. thrown out now being saved because it's still right. good. It, it hasn't still, expired. Exactly. Right. Okay.